briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the Minnesota Supreme Court heard the case of Huper v. Goodrich, which revolved around the application of the collateral source rule in a car accident lawsuit involving a minor, Bruce Huper. After a serious auto accident, Bruce's father filed a lawsuit on his behalf, separating the case into two trials, liability and damages. The court allowed Bruce's father to recover the reasonable value of medical expenses, including free hospital services provided by Shriners Hospital, under the collateral source rule. Additionally, Bruce was granted interest on the recovery amount from the date of liability determination to the verdict on damages. However, the defendants appealed the decision questioning whether the collateral source rule could be applied to recover free medical and hospital services provided by charitable institutions. The trial involved several parties, including appellants Goodrich and Neubauer, and the Ford Motor Company. The jury found Neubauer and Goodrich mainly responsible, awarding Huper judgment against them for $600,215, with Emil, Bruce's father, receiving a judgment of $37,270. Ultimately, the court affirmed the decision to allow the recovery of medical expenses under the collateral source rule, but reversed the allowance of interest. Interest was only granted from the date damages were liquidated when the jury returned its verdict. The case was affirmed and reversed in part, with the proceedings remanded for further action. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.